Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the new series called the Short Horror Films um, Kill Count Series, which is where we count up the kills in all of our favorite short horror films. And, uh, well, without further ado, let's get into the first ever one, and it is the guest horror film. Let's get straight into it. All right, here we go. We start out with this, a title card telling you who made the movie. And I suggest that you go check these out for yourself, form your own opinions, and then come back and see what I think about them. We hear all this insane screaming for God knows what reason at this moment. Then we cut to this. We don't know really what it is. If it's a male or a female here. And then we see this girl. The one is all bandaged up. I don't understand the reasoning for this bandaged up person. I mean, I don't get it. What is the reason that this person is bandaged up? I need an explanation. Other than that, all you can hear is this dinging. There is no audio, so I did not cut the audio off, guys. Know that it's not done this way intentionally by me. This is how the filmmaker did it. I didn't make the stupid film. <sighs> All right. With God forsaken, no noise. Get some noise in here. Can't hear nothing. Dude. All right, it would be nice if we had some entertainment during this kill count. I mean... It just would. We have no entertainment right now. Sitting here filming this with no entertainment. How do you film with no entertainment? Guys, look, oh, there's some audio. A little bit of audio. Mm-hmm. Messing with whatever that was. Don't understand the reason for that. Don't know if it has any reason for the film. Now we can hear some audio. So I'm going to let y'all listen in on this a little bit. How did you get inside of her house? So we get an apparent name for this person. The name of Mary. I don't know if that has any significance for anything. And this is actually free on YouTube to watch if you want to go watch it yourself. This person has no idea how they got here. I can make you something. It doesn't say on here. Do you have any allergies? Is there anyone that you want me to call? Your mom? Anyone? We get no actual words from this character. I'm just going to point that out there. Is that weird to you guys? Last night? Do you remember what happened last night? So apparently something went down last night is all the information we have. At this moment. Mary, what happened last night? Now we get typical horror movie noise and it fades to this screen. For a reason that I do not know. I mean, honestly. And now we got this girl running on through a field. For no reason. Now we got this flashy camera with the camera going up and down. Facing the ground. Now we got a frame of the sky. Some music. Now we go straight to the moon. And then we go straight to this. At this house. What is the budget of this movie? Just what? Jumping over this, running, 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 knocking on the door. Why are we knocking on doors? I'm just wondering. What is the reason for this? Now we're, I'm guessing, breaking into someone's house. If this is the person we're supposed to feel sentimental towards, stealing a key. 
to break and enter. If this is supposed to be my protagonist, who do I like? Do I like the antagonist better? This movie makes no sense. But I know that's some creepy music. It would be nice to get something truly entertaining happening in this scene at all. Like, something actually entertained me. Getting a little bored. Running through the house. Going straight for a knife. Going straight for something. I like that. So we're looking for something. Found a knife. That could be useful. I do like the fact that they inputted that. That's something really cool that you do not see in horror movies in general. You just don't see that at all. You just don't. It's not common at all. Now we have no audio in this scene at all. I'm giving an opinion of what I thought at the end of this episode. Just so y'all know. That's how I'm doing the show. Now we're following with the camera into a bathroom. Where we're standing by a window. Okay, is there a reason for that? Now we're sitting down. For what reason? We're just sitting here with a knife. Now we jump up for some jump scare, I'm guessing. Got a scared face. And now we got this creepy looking... What do I even call that? I don't know. Close up on the face. What is so scary? Why are you that scared? What's there? Could it be a... Uh... Oh, are you sure you don't see... Do you see something? Are you imagining things? What is it? No, really. What is it? What do you see there? Oh, just gonna slap yourself? Quit hitting yourself. Oh, that's creepy looking Joker as the uh, camera flashes for some reason. She's scared for whatever reason of this thing. And, uh... Well, we're getting a lot of things happening in this scene. Now she looks over to whatever that was. I don't understand that. She reaches for it. Grabs it. We cut to his face. Now we're just looking at this thing. It's turned down. Dude, could you, like, get on with the killing? Like, so I could just add some bodies to this count? I'm just saying. This is a short horror film. We have no bodies to count yet. Now she's pouring that, I guess, and screaming for whatever reason. Could someone explain what's going on in this movie? Or film, or whatever you want to call this. Now she's down on the ground, humbled, for whatever reason, looking at her ear? Huh? And now we have breathing in the background from, I'm guessing, the cameraman? Now she's reaching for the knife. What is this movie? And she's reaching for the knife. What is going on in this? And now she stabbed herself. Pretty deep. Wow. Unexpected completely, I will say. I didn't expect that. That's kind of cool to see. Something I didn't expect. Um... And she's still breathing in this scene, apparently. Um, I don't 100% understand what's going on. But I'm guessing she is definitely still alive. I'm not guessing this is her. I'm guessing that is her. Um, so... As she says she will come back. And she gets up from her chair now. And just leaves. She's gone. No trace. 
I don't think we will ever see her again in this movie. My God, when is this going to be over? This is just torture at this point. Oh, my God, when is this going to be over? Come on now, I need at least one body for this count. And as we see, we reveal something that looks like she's been pretty beat up. I'm guessing this is the same girl that was in the bathroom. I guess. And now she got a jump scare for what? Oh, crap. He's back. He, he He's back. He is back. He is back. And so now as this scene plays out, you see his face. He turns his head to reveal a missing ear? What? Then it shows this as they're fading back. And now it goes to black. And now what I'm going to go ahead and say is it shows the title card again signifying the end. I'm going to go ahead and say he probably killed her there. So we're going to put one kill on the count. And that's going to be her death to me. So that's going to be obviously. I'm going to just say it. No coolest death. No golden chainsaw. Just dull machete for lamest kill. The only kill of the freaking film. That's all that's there. What do I think about this? This film freaking sucks. That is my opinion of Guest. It's trash. Y'all can get y'all's own opinions of it. Go form them. Y'all can let me know in the comments. I don't care. Whatever you want to say about this movie, this movie sucked. I'll see y'all back here with the next one next week. All right, I'll see you next week. Hope y'all enjoyed. That's all for me. I'm out.